All right, so former five-star quarterback Jake T. Barrett was like the number one player in the country in his class because I'm pretty sure he reclassified from, I think he was supposed to go 2019 class, but he reclassified to 2018. Ended up choosing to go to USC, but then he hit tournament events, played the freshman season, did okay. And then his sophomore season, tore his ACL, took his redshirt season, and next thing you know, kind of got replaced by a guy named Keenan Slovis, who kind of just took USC by storm. And it was going to be hard. I don't blame JT for wanting to transfer. It was going to be hard for him to be out Slovis just because Slovis might be the better quarterback. But also, he just picked up so much steam, so much energy from USC fans and just fans from over the country. So it was just going to be hard for JT to come back and be out Slovis for his former starting quarterback spot. It was a smart decision to transfer. And what a place he did transfer to. I honestly thought he would go to a place like LSU. But I understand why he didn't. Kind of lost all their offensive weapons. And you don't have that much long to really learn the playbook. Especially transferring this late. It's like mid end of May almost. Beginning of June. And you aren't going to get the playbook till then. Good thing nobody really else has been there. So you couldn't miss spring training. And like the spring ball and all that but just questionable decision to transfer to this late but he did end up going to Georgia so this is a little bit controversy because Georgia also had another transfer QB he was kind of like a graduate transfer in Jamie Newman so what's gonna happen here also in case you guys didn't know and the 2021 class, they have Brock Vandegrift coming. That sets up a little short timetable for JT Barrett to possibly get replaced that quickly, which isn't a good thing for him. So, if we're going to go over this, Jamie Newman more than likely is going to be the starting quarterback for 2020. He's had the playbook since, I don't know, like March. He would have been there for spring ball in enough time. So, he's fine. He's perfectly okay. He's there for a good time, at least for this season. But then he'll end up going to the pros, probably be like a third-round pick. I don't think he'll be a first-round pick, but he'll probably be like one of those backup developmental quarterbacks. We'll see what happens there. And that moves us to JT Barrett. I think he knows this is kind of just going to be a learning season for him. Just learn the playbook, learn the system, and how you can be better for next year, which is... Where the question marks come in, could Brock Vandegrift potentially beat him out for the spot really next season? Because that's when Vandegrift will come in. And it's tough to say, to say the least. Because if you remember correctly, Georgia kind of favors their veteran quarterbacks over the younger guys. Go back to Jake Fromm and what we had with Justin Fields. They just stuck with the guy that could produce their system a little bit better because he was more of a game manager than a flashy type quarterback. Then you also go back to Jacob Eason and Jake Fromm, where Jacob Eason was just there for longer, so he kind of just got the job, plus he had a decent freshman year. Then he go gets hurt, of course, and Jake Fromm takes over. But it's questionable, to say the least, what's really going to happen. Barrett could be the starter for really only one season, and I think that might possibly be his plan just to bank off one season or maybe he just hopes to sit this year and then start the next two years which puts Brock Vandegriff kind of in a rough situation with only playing one year so you think if JT Barrett starts not this season but next season Brock Vandegrift probably takes that as a redshirt year learning season. He probably won't redshirt, though, if we're being honest. He's the be one of the best quarterbacks in this year's class, if not the best. So it's going to be tough for him to actually want the redshirt. I imagine he at least plays some. Maybe he'll redshirt. We'll see what happens there. But JT and Brock are kind of going to be in quarterback competition for next season. If JT loses that, I imagine he transfers. If Brock loses it, I wouldn't be surprised if he transfers. I imagine he stays for that season. But after that, if JT's still going to stay for another year, Brock's definitely gone. And he's going to go to the college that actually wants him. 
that's going to be interesting to see where he eventually goes. Probably somewhere like LSU. Or, or he could go like some small school, maybe Maryland, Rutgers. I don't know. Just throwing out ideas. But this whole quarterback controversy is going to be interesting. And JT Barrett kind of just spur it all up in his own sense. And it's going to be a fun watch for these next couple of years. So what's your guys' opinions on JT Barrett going to Georgia? I want to hear that down below. And of course, if you guys have a suggestion for another video, make sure to put that down in the comments below as well. And who knows, it may end up being the next video. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click the link down there if you have Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. And of course, just make sure to keep the sports week flowing throughout the day.